got the recording going. We're playing Them's Fighting Herds. This is Them Fighting Fighting Herds Part 2. Right now we're working on a follower goal of 50 followers. That way we can start working towards affiliate status, which would be super cool because I can do a lot of cool things for all of you once I reach affiliate status. So, without further ado, let's jump back into the world of Them's Fighting Herds. Wait. First time? No. No, 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 no. I've played before. Oh, there we go. Wait. Back, 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 back. <gasps> Did it not save? Well, I guess we might be starting them spotting herds over again. Well, that's unfortunate. Well... We're gonna go ahead and start at chapter one. I'm not gonna do the, uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna do the first part again because no. Basically, the prologue is just saying that there are enemies that have been locked away behind a magic door for a very long time, and they are coming back, but they can only be out at night right now. And they are, they look like shadow wolves essentially, but they don't know that they are wolves per se. They just call them predators and they are looking for the key to the door so they can fully escape their prison and come back into the world where all of the hooked creatures are so now we're starting with the bull texas Ugh. is that you daughter hi samson samson's my cat for those who don't know he came to say hi hi buddy he got a bath so he's all wet because he won't let me blow dry him Hi, bud. I'm 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 streaming right now. I love you though, but but you can't lay on my computer. I'm sorry. All right, sorry. Back to it. Yeah, pa, it's me. Why are you hiding my calf? Uh, well, I know how much you like your cotton flating time, but I wanted to talk. Come on out now. Let's talk. So, I know you said we cattle kind aren't supposed to listen to those who live outside the prairie, but I heard something big's going on. There's been a decree, Pa, from the Council of Ungulates. Yeah, I know. You do? I'm the leader of this herd, my calf. It's my duty to know such things. Uh, then what's happening, Pa? Why do we have to pick a champion? And what for? The mule deer fawns are saying the most terrible things. You know, Arizona. I think a lot about what it means to be wanderers like us, moving from place to place wherever the grass decides to grow, out here in the open air with no home except the wagons we haul and the hills we roam. Wouldn't trade it for anything. Them city folk inside their walls only concern themselves with what's in front of their noses. The old stories, they took them out of their history books. But our kind, Arizona, we're folk of the land. We remember with our voices. Gather round, everyone! They're coming. <coughs> Yellow bellies. In days of old, all of hoofed folk of Phonum roamed together as one big old herd. And the world, well, it was one big old field where the grass was ours for the grazing. We had a peace that lasted long as the tunnels of Ten Packs Prairie Dogs. But times, they're always changing, yes sir. You see, there were other animals on Phonum, little ones. They had fur like us, but instead of hooves, they had gangly clawed toes. Now, funny looking feet ain't usually cause for worry, but something else was their teeth. And as time passed, these teeth grew longer and sharper than the thorns on a buffalo berry branch. And with chompers like that, well, I guess eating grass just wasn't cutting it. Predators ripped our piece away quicker than a dandelion seeds. But we don't stand by like frightened jackrabbits be gobbled up like buttered biscuits, nope. We fought back. So many of us were lost, we weren't sure if we'd been off better just letting ourselves be their supper. But so, but soon, we weakened them varmints well enough. That's when a mystic from the desert land stepped in, using her great power. She banished the predators to some otherly place, locking them away. So that key that everyone's talking about, that's the prophet's key. Well, I'll be. So you have been paying attention to my stories. Predators were gone, but so was our peace. Our great herd of one broke into many. We were weakened and we were scared. 
Cause though them predators be locked up, it weren't for good, no sir. The monster swore as they were sucked up into that funnel of deep, dark nothingness that they'd be back and they'd be hungry. So my compatriots, who among you will volunteer to face these hooligans? Who will be champion of the prairie? Everyone backs off and runs away. But Arizona, I will paw you. No, you're too young. Not too young to love my home. I'll do anything for the prairie paw and I'll phone them too. I know we don't get along with folk beyond our lands, but they deserve to live free just as we do. I won't allow it. I said no. Well, I said yes. Hooves off, woman. Oh, for sheesh, you shush. Our girl here has proven her worth, don't you know? She may be small, but yeah, I sure bet you her heart is bigger than the prairie itself. What's that now? But I'm supposed to be the leader. Oh, there, there. You sure are the biggest, strongest bull cattle kind has ever known. Let's not be silly now. Arizona of the prairie. Child of Purple Mountain's majesty, amber waves of grain. I dub thee champion of cattle kind. Now go and save the world. Aw, a little kiss for her daughter. You little sugar booger. I'll make you proud, Ma. And you too, Pa, I swear. Yeah. Listen close now. Get yourself north up to Rain City where the deer folk live. They got a museum there with all sorts of treasure from the old days. Bet you you'll find some clues about the key. Thanks, Ma. I'm going to get going right away. Not a moment to lose. Oh, don't pout, honey. I believe in our daughter. I do too, just the lover. Oh, so sweet. Them's fattened herds. I'm not even mad to be playing through this part again. Like, it's just... This game is a delight. Such a delight. Alright, time to hit the trail. Rain City, here I come. But because I've played it before, I do have some things that I do know. Like, if I go over here... If I... There we go. And I already know how to stomp. There's a crack in this wall that I can open up. And... Makes a nice little reminiscence of Zelda voice. We've got another cow we find in here. I didn't mean to stomp. I meant to talk to her. Howdy, ma'am. What you doing all alone in this here cave? Oh, no, ne oh, no need to worry about me, calf. I live here. You live here in the, in the dark? Hey, don't talk like that. I'm scared of the dark. But aren't caves usually dark and scary? That's why I always keep the lamps on. Hey, I meant no offense, just reckon a cave's an odd place to lure for somebody, live for somebody who's afraid of the dark. Uh, how long you plan on staying here, calf? I'll just be on my way. Now, if you turn off this lamp, that cow will come over here. Hey, don't turn that lamp off. I'm scared of the dark. But, if you go turn off the second lamp, a simple oil lamp, the cow was very insistent on keeping the cave lit. You could still turn it off if you feel like being a beef jerky. Really turn this lamp off? Yes, turn the lamp off. Let's see what happens. And now we have a secret passage. Whoa! Cow comes over. Oh, dang it, you found the secret passage. Looks like the secret's out. What kind of two-timing sorcery is this? No, nothing like that. Just a it, switch in the lamp. What in the name of Uncle Horace's horns is all this about exactly? Guess you could call it the long way. I use it to cut round the main path. Too many folk on the road these days. Pa told me about folk like you. You're just a highway bandit and I ain't tolerating no bandits. Wait, no, I'm not a bandit. I'm a milk trader. A milk trader? Why the fancy contraption then? Trading milk ain't illegal. 
No, but when I take the main road, I ain't got nothing left to sell by the time I reach Rain City. Too many folks along the way buying up my stock. Milk's cheap in the prairie. In the city, they'll pay through the nose for just a tiny little sip. Why not just tell the them locals no? No, oh, I can't do that. That'd be mean. And you can't be mean to your customers when they produce the product, too. I suppose that makes sense. I think. Hey, do you mind if I take your shortcut through the tunnel? Need to get to rain myself. Go ahead, I guess. Just promise you won't tell nobody about it. Can do, ma'am. Thanks a ton. And through the secret passage we go. Up, up, up. Oh, over. There we go. This must be the merchandise. Wonder how she got them all the way up here. Yep, this cart's got barrels full of milk, all right. Empty barrels. Maybe this is the way back wagon. We can go over here. And up through here. Windy, windy. I wonder how that smoke merchant managed to haul them carts through these tiny passages. This is one long climb. Sure is. Well, this is it. Take one more step and I'll be the furthest away from home I've ever been. Huh. So this is what the wild unknown is like. Guess it's like my pa always says, it's a dangerous business calf going out to prairie. You step into the wild unknown, and if you don't watch your hooves, you can trip, roll off a cliff into a river, get swept up by the current, fall down a waterfall, and land in a cactus so hard you can sit down you can't sit down right for a month and you're spitting needles for two. Still wonder why he says that. Oh Arizona, we might find out. I think I'm close to the top. You'd think I'd come by some sort of trial by now. I'm so gonna regret saying that later. Oh well. There's a lizard here. I'm gonna love this on my head. So his name is Larry. And we literally can put him on his head. And it gives us plus five fly catching with the caption, you're a lizard, Harry. No, I'm sorry, I said it. Ugh. You're a lizard, Larry, instead of wizard, Harry. There we go. Got it. Okay, we're going to equip that. And we're going to wear a lizard on our head now, because that's what we do. Whew, that was easy. I must be halfway to rain by now. No, ma'am, you are not. Okay, so I could jump down there, but I'm not going to. I wanted to get the lizard, but I do want to go the other path. Because there's a whole other path, because this was the secret passage. So don't forget about the fact that we can go a completely different direction. Ooh, it's weird turning accents on and off. I've got to... I'm going to keep getting better at that. The first time I was doing this, I just got stuck in accent land. Um, and couldn't get out of it. <laughs> but... Here we go. Now we go back through the secret cave. And then we're going to go up the other path. It's weird having the sun out again. I'm not complaining. We need the sun. Desperately. It's like shining right on my screen. It's kind of funny. Here we go! And up here. Can't go that way because the bridge is out. So we'll go up here. So shiny rock. Maybe I should take a shortcut. What is that? Don't remember Paul saying no anything about mysterious glowing stones out in the middle of nowhere. But we're gonna touch it. This old runestone marks the trailhead of a heroic pathway. Follow the trail up a cliff? Uh, sure. And this is technically the way you're supposed to go because this is where it's gonna give you tutorial. I just love, I love everything about this game. There's nothing I don't love about this game, other than I wish the controllers were uh, a little bit friendlier for keyboard, because it's made for controller. Um, 
So some of them are really hard to do on keyboard versus controller, but I don't have a controller, so we'll just make a do. We're not jumping down there. That's another way that you could go is jumping down, and that's where we've already been through the secret pa pa secret secret path. Hmm, someone's camped here, but it looks like it's been a while. Bones. They look pretty old. Ooh, this spot makes my spine shiver. Understandably so. Shiny rock. Sorry, that's not what she said. That's what I'm saying. Another stone. Let's give it a go. Let's do this. Jump across the chasm. So like this, for instance, I have to, have to just tap down really fast and then up and over to do that jump the way that they're asking it to. It's really weird and uncomfortable. <laughs> Yay! Oh! Got this champagne stuff roped up and in the bag. But this game is so worth it. I, j I love this game. And around we go. And we have a new friend. Howdy there, cowgirl. Thought I heard hooves are coming. Would be nice to have some company. Don't be shy now. I'm Madison. Nice to meet you. Hi, Madison. Name's Arizona. Well, aren't you just a bundle of joy? Don't mind me asking. How'd you get up here exactly? Didn't you see? Co didn't see you coming up through the main road? Oh, uh, there was a main road. No, there wasn't. That was where the one bridge was out. What? You tell me you climbed all the way up the side of the cliff? You had a goat or something? More like crazy awesome. Ha! Ain't no trouble at all. Been stepping up the prairie since I was born. <laughs> you certainly do look tough enough, tuck cowgirl. Say now, aren't you one of Minnie's calves? Her mom's name is Minnesota. Thought I recognized your mama's poofy hair. Sure as the sun shines. What you doing all the way out here by yourself? How do I get to Rain City? Rain City? Well, bless my bonnet. Sure as a coinky dink if I ever heard one. Was headed there to sell some grain and milk ever since the decree went out there, buying up as much as they can get. I tell you that deer folk ain't nothing but a slum of snoot bags, but they're practically giving away their salt. Times are what they are. What kind of business do you have there, cowgirl? I'm after the legendary key. Well, you're looking at the champion of the prairie. I'm gonna find that old magic key, lock up them sharp toothed critters crawling about, and save the world, just like the stories. Uh. Your parents know where you are. Can I just get some directions? Now, now, no need to fuss, man. No offense. You just seem a little young to be running around looking for trouble like that. Waiting for the pronghorns to come by and fix the bridge. Just a day or two more. Dang it all. What now what? I gotta get to Rain City. Hey, no need to fret. We'll figure something out. We're like that and you'll end up with more wrinkles than a raisin by the time you're my age. Yeah, you're right. There's gotta be another way through. I don't know about that unless you count the tunnel. Tell you what, why don't you set up camp here with me? Might be somebody come by in the morning to fix the bridge. Sure, why not? Yeah, go to sleep. There's bread here and I'm gonna lick it when I wake up. I'll go get you set up. Or whatever she said, something like that. We're gonna lick the bread. Ugh, champion of the prairie. I'm way too excited to sleep. Gosh darn broken bridge. I'm two trots away from trying that tunnel. But not before. Oh, there's a, one of them shadowy wolves. Hey, you're. And he runs off into the cave. No way, they're already here? But we're gonna go look at the bread first. Bread, bread, bread. Madison's bread. Been staring at this loaf all night. Maybe I'll just have a taste. Give it a lick. Gained bread loaf! There are five other collectibles in this level, in this chapter. And I'm now getting, I get to wear the bread on my head, plus 24 slices because I licked the bread. Equip, I now have bread on my head. Hat. 